Hello everybody, time for a new tutorial. It's been forever. Uh, my excuse, no excuse, I've been playing World of Warcraft, doing all sorts of fun stuff, taking kind of a break from things, but now I'm getting back into stuff and uh, it's time for a new tutorial and I hope this will help you out. I'm going to show you today how to create um, 3D font objects in Blender out of foreign characters, uh, non-English characters, as in, uh, in this case, uh, example is Japanese. Uh, I'm going to be using the Mac in this case. The only difference really of this methodology is going to be how you input the Japanese characters into a text editor. Uh, you know, we'll leave that up to a system by system basis. So uh, the first thing you're going to do on the Mac, for example, is you go to your system preferences under language and region. Okay, and then if you don't have uh, the language that you want the font uh, to be displayed in, you would have to click on the plus button to add it. Okay, so you could, for example, uh, add any of these. You could add, for example, Chinese and whatnot. And I'm not going to do that right now because I don't want to uh, uh, mess up my <coughs> uh, preferred language right now. But uh, you would just click on add, the, add that, and then after you do that, it will ask a request will come up asking you the type of input method you want. Uh, so just go ahead and in, input the type of input method you, uh, you want to use, depending on your preferences. Okay, so I've already got uh, English, Japanese, I've got Korean added here as well. So you can see once you do that up here, there'll be a little drop-down box and you have your options for adding things. So Romanji is, of course, you know, uh, um, Romanized characters. Uh, in the case of Japanese, you've got hiragana and katakana. The Japanese has two syllabaries. A hiragana is for inputting uh, Japanese and katakana is for representing words that come from outside of Japanese language. Okay, and I've got my Korean and my Chinese and stuff here, but uh, uh, for this case, we're going to create, this is the, uh, this is Vengeance, Katakuchi, in, in Japanese, this is from my upcoming Godzilla fan film, Godzilla Vengeance, and so, um, if you don't know Japanese, for example, you can go to Jisho, and you can just type in a, a uh, uh, English word, and you will get the, uh, kanji here, you'll have the um, the hiragana explanation at the top, and you'll have a little bit of uh, uh, usage of it and stuff. So you can take this, you could, for example, copy this and paste it and stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and show how to create the 3D object out of this. Okay, so we now have uh, our, we'll just create a new file here. I'm going to split the window, and you'll we'll choose the text editor, and create a new text file. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and uh, put in, input some text into a text edit window. We can't use the Blender text edit window because it does not support uh, different fonts and whatnot. So uh, I'm just going to bring up text editor and then go ahead and choose hiragana as my input method and kata ki u chi. Okay. Oh, it already had it in there for me. Usually it'll have a drop down list of uh, you know different types of kanji that you can select that have the same pronunciation. Uh, since I already had it typed in there before, it just came up immediately. So you can just go ahead and uh, copy that. Now click into Blender, into the text edit window, and paste it. And you'll just see these blocks, because like I said, the text edit editor in Blender does not recognize the outside characters. Uh, so now we can create this into a 3D object very, very easily. Uh, you can go down to Edit, uh, text to 3D object, and you have some options here. One object, for example, if you wanted to take make a, a bunch of lines of text and create the Star Wars style crawl as a 3D object, you would choose one uh, one object. If you had multiple lines and you wanted to make each one its own object, you'd say one object per line. We only have one object, so we'll just go ahead and click one object. So now you can see here that something's been created, but it doesn't look like anything. It's because Blender does not uh, dis, d does not have the Blender font by default does not display the foreign characters. So let's go to the font tab, and we'll just load a Japanese font. Click on the little uh, op button there, library and fonts, and I have one in here, and it is called Osaka. So you can search for that if you want, or you can use other fonts. And then once you say OK, now you can see that we have the font object. All right. And the nice thing about this is it's a true font object. You can extrude it. You can bevel it. 
you can change the resolution and do things that you can with normal Blender font objects. And of course you could, for example, um, animate these parameters as well. We can go to here and then go to here and extrude it. All right, and you can see that we can uh, animate that. And so that's one of the reasons why to do it this way instead of doing it um, the way I showed you before on how to create a 2D object out of like an Illustrator file or something. Uh, this retains all the capabilities of a Blender font object and you could always go ahead and re-edit it by pasting in new text and stuff like that. So, uh, so that is how to create uh, Japanese font objects inside of Blender. I hope that tutorial helps you out. I'll have more stuff coming. Uh, stay tuned.